Hi, Mark. Thank you so much for joining us on Shelter. Hi, Ariana. How are you? And hi, Peter. Glad to chat with you today. No, thank you so much. So we have been so excited to hear all about your online store. So tell us about that. When's that happening? What are you going to have in your store? We want to know everything. Well, you know, for decades, I have thought that accessories are an integral part of interiors. Wherever I am, wherever I go, I keep my eyes open because I scan the flea markets to the higher end shops, to the auction houses, everywhere and recently the trash found some great shit. <laughs> you never know keep your eyes open because i feel that we can bring our clients in yes you can buy a sofa you can buy floors you can put up a window treatment but and add the cabinetry you can make the functionality but you do not bring your client's personality into a room until you allow yourself and allow them to interpret they and their family and their likes into their home via books, objects, things that bring character. When I was a young person a long time ago in design school, I would scan, I would just, I would just spend hours and hours and hours staring at the pages of David Hicks because I thought he did the most incredible tablescapes. He would use these things called Perspex Cubes and he would elevate things and create a puzzle. To me, an end table, a coffee table, a bookshelf is really just a stage for things that will create the intimacy of who you are into your home. And I have always tried to keep some of these pieces around because you just can't necessarily finish a house and go shopping. You need to find things and have it available at the right price point, too, because things can get expensive. So we try to find things like David Hicks used to say, and he used to sometimes put a Bic lighter because the color went with an 18th century piece of Chinese porcelain or a piece of some amazing Italian faience. It was about mixing things by their beauty, not by their value. Let me just interrupt you for a second because I'm holding your fabulous book. Oh, that really? Did every, I have a book out? <laughs> yes, everyone should get this book, by the way. And to me, the online store is a continuation of this fabulous book. And I want to show a picture of it that shows the wonderful color that you use on your tables. And I want to know what is it that you like? What, what are your favorite things that you're going to have on, in this shop? Well, what we have in the shop, ranges we have small objects be they vases candlesticks sc small sculptural objects that we have an asian stone wheel that i got years ago from medela who brought in these you know wheels that ground rice we have definitely we have china because I, there's nothing more important than tabletop i'm a little addicted to it as you know i, I if you come to my house, you don't really eat on the same set of China twice. Um, I think it's also about blending. Like, I would never go into Ralph Lauren and buy the shirt, the tie, jacket, the shoes, the belt, because I would look like the ad. It's really about combining things. So if I'm doing somebody's end table, I might combine a wooden box that's English with a contemporary bone box. I might put a piece of porcelain. I might put something, a total found object. So if somebody has stuff to, to bring to the table, so to speak, all the better. And I encourage clients, please keep your eyes open. Bring something back from a trip. That'll re give you that memory of that experience. But we try to augment that with things that will brighten their home with, and brighten their eye when they look. Things that look like them, that look like their family, we do plenty of photographs, you know, as a dealer once said to me, you can put one box in one bowl, but you can put an innumerable amount of picture frames. So it's a very valid way. Displayed well, I encourage people to change the pictures in their frames as well. You know, a lamp is part of a tablescape as well. We do carry right. lamps in our mm -hmm. Miami collection. We have lamps, small sculpture, small pieces of art. I'm not a gallerist, I'm not a dealer. But sometimes we find an artist that works on the small side and we're happy to collect that person for the Emmy Collects shop. 
Yeah, and that's just what is so beautiful about your work because you really weave those antiques and that artwork into the home and it's just really beautiful how they complement each other. Well, I also like the idea that people can come to us like my clients come to us or we come to our clients and do sort of one-stop shop so you can go online, we'll download a hundred images in the next two weeks, which include about 350 objects. And we're happy to ship these things. We're happy to package them, try them if you need to try them. I encourage designers, borrow them for a photo shoot, but really finish your clients' homes. Let them become alive, let them become personal. Let them develop their own character through these pretty things. You know, because the timing to me, it's, it's everything, right? And we spoke about this before. And I think with the holidays coming up, what a wonderful thing to have a special place where you can go and get special things that are not every day. Don't you think to have those one or two special things all over your home, it's important? I totally think it's important. I think that's what makes the home interesting. I had for many years a very special friend in my life, Jeremiah Goodman. Jeremiah, as you know, was one of the most incredible designers, but really his fame was his, he was the illustrator for everyone. And I own many of his paintings, but what Jeremiah used to say is, there should be surprises, there should be wit. There should be, so I don't want you to see the room and walk in and see it all. But when you turn a corner, when you sit in a chair, you might find a tableau of some special little, in a sense, I call them toys, little bits and pieces that just make you smile. That gives a room something alive. You know, my whole idea is that rooms should never be finished. Rooms should change right. and be added to like, like your hair changes and grows, like your outfit changing or grows. You know, sometimes I'll say to a client, your house looks great, but it's eight years, it's nine years, it's seven years. Let's change a few pillows. Let's move the objects around. Let's shift a painting. Let's do, have you bought anything? We'll buy a new painting. We'll buy a few objects. We'll shift what was in the bedroom to the living room and what was in the living room to the family room. Give the house that sense of continuity, that sense of movement, that sense of life. Super excited to see your store coming up here really soon. We'll make sure to include that link. And before we go, I know we have a shared love of beagles. So my little beagle, this is Cassie, <laughs> just wanted to say hello. A cute girl to say hello back. Oh, look at Minnie. Oh, Minnie. Look oh, at Minnie, that. the creative That's director of the company. She hello, just Minnie. turned one, and she's feeling like a big girl. Oh, Actually, she's so she cute. went and got new winter clothes yesterday, so we were unpacking all her new things. So Minnie, say hi to Peter and Ariana. Okay, well... Thank you so much, Mark. This is thank always, you, Ariana. Thank you, Peter. It's, it's always so cool. fun to talk to you. You are so lovely to talk to, and we cannot wait to visit any collections. Shop to you drop. You know our motto. Exactly. <laughs> yes. Exactly. Bye bye. Thank you, Have Mark. See you soon. Bye.